In video 2, we showed you how to export your class email addresses from Q. Now, we're going to go back to the OneNote class notebook inside of Office 365 to create our notebook. Having copied those email addresses, I'm now ready to create my class notebook. First, I must name the class. This class is a Read 180 class. I give it a name and click Next. It now gives us an overview of what the class will look like. That there are three sections, Collaboration Space, Content Library, and Student Notebooks. I'm moving on. This is an optional space where you could give another teacher permission to have the same powers you have. If you collaborate with a teacher, this is a great option. Otherwise, simply click Next. And here in Step 4 is where we paste that information we got from that Excel file. Again, cell A8 was copied so that back here in Office 365, I click the space and use Control V to paste. Notice how quickly those email addresses became recognized as the actual students in my class. Next. I now have to design my custom student space. Do I want to change the names of any of these or leave them as they are? If I want to change one, for example, if I don't like the term handouts, I would deselect that box and perhaps I would add a new section and maybe call it Reading Portfolio. You can customize the notebook here however you want to. Just keep in mind this is the only time and place you can make sweeping customizations to everyone's notebook inside of the master notebook. It's best to think about this carefully and design your space before you begin. Now we get a preview of what it will look like. The teacher's notebook includes the collaboration space, the content library, and all of the student notebooks, whereas the student's notebook only contains the same collaboration space, the content library they can only read from, and that individual student's notebook with my chain section called Reading Portfolio. Create and watch the magic happen. that the link they mean is this link right here that says Read 180. Because of the way the address is designed, OneNote colon, it will open the desktop app for you. This is the best way to experience your notebook and to have it ready on your teacher device to add content and move on with the next step. In the third video, we'll show you how to move content from last year's notebook to this new notebook you have created for your students. Thank you for watching.